How to create word search KDP low content books. Hi, I'm Kerry from Dream Creative B where I give you honest reviews and tips about making money online. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button to be notified about any other videos I make. So today we're going to be looking at word searches and how you can create them free and with some paid tools as well. And then in my next video, I'm going to show you how to actually take some of the images from it and use PowerPoint and keynotes to be able to do it a lot quicker than just copying and pasting each individual picture in. So we've gone to Amazon and what I'm going to type in is just word searches and I'm also using the AMC suggestion expander Chrome extension and I'll leave a link for you in the description. So word search books for adults. So we see that there are books, adults for large prints, for adults, for kids age four to eight. We could also do word search for seniors, large, large print, seniors with dementia, senior citizens. So let's do large print for seniors. So we found that there's over a thousand results, but you can even niche down further. So you could do seniors with dementia. And it's gone down to 336 so those are your keywords that you can be putting in the back end in your subtitle and these are examples of different word searches so over 500 puzzles easy relaxing puzzles these are nice and big if you have a look at them they're not let's have a look inside so be inspired never copy so this one is an activity book that uses different things to spot the difference and it has got on its front page a very big word search which is only one, two, three, four across and six down. So you can change your grid sizes in different word searches. So that is selling really well. That is basically what you do for your research and I have created a video on how to do your niche research which is going to be in the card in the top right hand corner and that just shows you how to do it with Amazon. Free tools. There's a free word search that you can download if you have got Windows. I haven't found one for Mac that is on your system but I have found a browser one. Now the problem is I haven't seen anything that says you cannot use it for commercial rights. There's nothing on it that says that. There might be but I cannot find it. So you can use it and you can create your own and you can download the puzzle and the solution individually. So what I've done is I've gone and got some words and it's about the cold. So I'm going to change it to cold. I'm going to keep it at 10 by 10 because I'm mainly aiming at kids maybe, don't know. And then I've gone, created my words. Now I'm going to download my puzzle. And I'm actually going to name it puzzle one. And I'm going to do the same for the solution. And this is the only problem is you've got to create everything one by one. Now let's see if that has worked and that has worked. Okay. So what you would do is you would either use PowerPoint or Canva or Keynote to transfer them across. So you would go, if you were doing it in PowerPoint, you go to design and you change it to the size that you want to set to. So when you've done your research, you'll know the most common size for the niche you're aiming at. So say we were aiming at seniors, then we would do eight and a half by 11, click OK, scale up, and then do that. Right, so you go insert picture from file, and there is a quicker way, but I'm going to show you that in another video. So, and we just, we can resize it because it's PNG. It's not going to become blurred. And then we need to put a new page in. So new slide, make sure it's a blank one. Enter, insert picture from file. I want the solution. And I might be able to do a load of solutions, like four solutions on a page. So I can do that. 
but I'd have to change that picture, picture format. And I'd have to change the colour of it. And I'd want it grayscale. So, so that's grayscale because I don't want colour um, in at all. So that's that, but I haven't got the words, so people don't know what to find. So I need to then copy the words and paste them in. And they go into a text file. Text file. And again, if I wanted it to be aimed at large print for either kids or seniors, make sure that it's at least 20 points, you know, maybe try and go a bit higher than 20, but you've still got to keep within your lines. So maybe bring that down a bit, get it in the middle, and then you can play about and set it out and do everything like that. So that is using Word Search, which is free. So the pro with it is free. Yes, you can change different things with it and you can copy it and it's a PNG file. The con with it is that you have to do each individual puzzle separately, in so not in one go. And you have to print them out and copy and paste them either into Canva, PowerPoint or Keynote. But there is a quicker way of doing the whole lot and I'll show you in the video on Friday. So look out for that and I will put the link in it. Crossword Express is another free puzzle builder and it does different puzzles. The pros of it is it's free. It also does quite professional puzzles, but you have to create each one individually and you have to sort of play around with it to make it work. You can install it on either Mac or Windows. It's a JavaScript file has been recently updated and you can do different languages so you can do word searches in Polish, Russian, Greek or crosswords or crisscross or um, any of the other sort of mega puzzles and there's also all the Japanese different puzzles like um, Sudoku, Killer Sudoku, Photo Shiki, Kakuru, um, ladder word, letter drop, minesweeper. So there's, there's all of the different puzzles. So you can create quite a good mixture of puzzles for free. But with free comes a lot of hard work. So this is what it looks like when it's on your computer. Each puzzle is done individually, but it does give you solutions and you can print it off as a PDF or even print to a printer and you can export it as a PNG file and you can create each one individually. So what you need to do in order to put your words into word search is you come in and you can create dictionaries. There's already a few dictionaries done like country, physics, astronomy, English, city. And what you need to then do is you click task, create a standard dictionary. So I'm gonna call it cold. And this is where I'm gonna put my words in. So don't insert word link, convert words to uppercase. Uh, connect to keyboard and I can choose which way I want it to go. I can also select my alphabet. So there's Latin, Latin expanded, um, Greek and Coptic, Armenian, Hebrew. Uh, so there's all the different ones there. Other alphabets. So here, if I'm doing like Spanish or German or anything like that, I can add, add the words with the um, umlauts and things like that. So I click OK here and I don't want the words tools. So what I do is I go come out of that, save and quit, click on the cold dictionary that I want and then I import and merge a word list. So I can actually add, in fact, no, I don't import a word list. I, ta I import words from a text file. So and then I select my import and I go to my word list. So I have cold here somewhere. What do I mean? Cold. So select cold, click OK, then click OK, and it's imported those. So that I've already done. So I just click off that, go to word search, and I go to word search, and I just click and go, 
I go select a dictionary, select coal, click OK. Uh, starting, no, start building. And it has built me a puzzle using the cold words there. And then to transfer it, print it, or what I want to do is I go to print word search and it gives me the puzzle and the solution. It doesn't give me the words. It can do, but it starts looking a bit untidy. So I can do that and it will do the solutions down there. So then I go export 300 dpi and I can name it whatever I want. Puzzle. No, in fact, I don't name it. I usually export. Hang on, do that again. So as you can see, it's actually done quite a mess. So I'd rather just leave it. Puzzle, solution, task, export. Keep it as that, export. Select my desktop. And this time, call it puzzle three. Save, click OK. And then I can go to PowerPoint, insert, picture, picture from file, and I can choose puzzle free, and it inserts, and then I just tidy it up, put the words next to it, change the colour so that it is grayscale. I don't want that with the background, so it's grayscale. So that's what you see, how you would do word search using Crossword Express, and it's called crosswords.com, and I'll use the link inside. So you have to do each individual one. So I found a way of just saving all the images and then doing a batch import into PowerPoint on Windows and a batch import into Keynote on Mac, and I will show you how to do that on Friday. But what I use to create my quick puzzles is instant puzzle generator and I go into word search create a new puzzle I'm going to call this Christmas because I can do a whole book in one go create you go to view upload your words and I can select a file I want the CSV file so word search and it accepts CSV files and text files so I click open Straight away, it's done me all of my words and it has created me 48, I think, 48 puzzles. And I can change the settings. I can have 40 pixels, 36 pixels there. I can choose my grid size. Oh, I can change my grid size. So I can have 15 by 15 and it automatically change that. Or I can have... Um, 16 by 16, 18, 17 by 17. So I can choose that. I can choose where I want my words. I can have it all along the bottom. I can have bottom four columns. So it makes it a slightly bigger puzzle. And then I can also choose whether to have an external border. I can choose to have internal grid lines. Take those off. I can show the bounding box or I can circle each letter, I can choose the different colours if I'm doing a colour book or colour printables or a, a colour interactive one as well. So and then I can download it and I can do a PNG one or if you get the Pro you can do the PowerPoint one but I'll do the PNG one because you can get the th this level with PNG or the JPEG or the PDF in the front end which is $47 so if I click download I can save it in one file and like I say I'll show you how to transfer them all and it's already zipped it so and again if I go in here open uh, it's done all the files all the solutions everything like that so I can go into PowerPoint again, insert new slide, blank one, insert a picture from file, 
Christmas, and I can select the first one, and it's there. Insert, new one, blank, set picture, and file, and I can do solution. And again, I can resize the solution so I can have it like that if I want it like that. And that is the front end using the PNG. And I'll show you how to do a mass, putting all your images together in PowerPoint on Windows and Keynote in Mac because it doesn't do it on PowerPoint in Mac, but it does in Windows. So that is how you create word searches or different puzzles. So you can get this one word search generator, which is free if you've got Windows. I haven't got Windows. This one is free for both Mac and Windows because it is web browser and the links for all these will be in the description. Then this one, crossword express, you can make a number of different puzzles, but as you saw, it was quite difficult to do different things. But the pro is that it does create professional good crosswords. Then there's this one here, which is instant puzzle generator and it is $47 for the front end one. Another thing is if you do book vault, they have puzzle words where you can go in and create all these different puzzles as well. And these expand out to um, PDFs. The writing on it, you can't change the writing size. So that's one of the things I have with it, but I still like it, still use it. And it does do crosswords. Then another one, which is Windows only, is Book Publisher Tools. All these, I'll put the links down in the description. Um, I have used this with Mac, but using Parallels, and it does work. So, and there's all different ones. The only thing is you have to purchase each individual puzzle creator on its own. And the best thing to purchase with it is the Time Saver tool as well, which then will go to PowerPoint and you can edit to PowerPoint, which is really good. But again, it generates in JPEG or PNG, 300 DPI size. It's very supportive in Facebook group and does help you out. Then there's um, Puzzle Book Mastery. And inside Puzzle Book Mastery, you've got word searches, word matches, word scrambles, cryptogram, number searches, and Sudokus, which you can choose easy, medium, and hard. And that is a $27 one-off payment for that one. Again, the links will all be in the description. Now to find words, that is the problem with a lot of um, creating word searches. Uh, this is puzzle word list and it's $5 a month. You can cancel at any time. And what it does is has a list of words. This is the back end that you can go in and download different things that's inside. So if I just click on Greeks, it'll give me a Greek or a Roman, I just click on there and that's the text file ready for me to upload or to copy and paste. Also, I found this my bag vocabulary.com word list and there's different word lists that you can go into and grab words and then create your own text file. Also, you can create random words. So like here, number of words, 20, and I can start off with a B. So any B words, just generally it randomizes them and I can keep generating different words. Again, all the links will be down in the description for you to create your own word search. Remember to do your research on Amazon and check that the niche is viable, but yes, you can make puzzles. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, go and watch the video again or ask questions in the comments. Over on the right hand side, there are some training and review videos. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to be notified about any new videos on my channel.